So being Māori is, it's just in me, you know, to channel that on fight week. My ancestors and my tūpuna were all warriors, you know, they all would have fought on the battlefield and I'm just channeling that on fight week when I fight, I'm just the modern day version of that. It's something that's instinctual, not something that I'm putting on, it's just something that's in me and I'm just channeling that. You see that in my eyes on fight night, you know, it's a switch, I'm, I'm just there, present, focused and um, ready to lay it on the line, so. Um, yeah, it's a powerful thing. And um, once I get in there, hear my walkout song, hear the, the energy of the crowd and, and feel that, it's, it's go time. So I can't wait to get in there and, and represent my people, Aotearoa, New Zealand, bring the win back home. You're fighting for the belt, you know, you gotta be at the top of your game and your body is, is your work. So I gotta make sure everything's firing like it should be and, and working like it should be. So yeah, having Gabe on on board just fixing everything and just kind of looking over all, all my schedule and, and uh, he'll you know give me advice on certain things or if I'm not you know working certain muscle groups when he's looking at my body he'll be like maybe integrate this as a warm-up or do this as a warm down. So we're just trying to make sure that the body's nice and loose and free and healthy so what happens is joints tend to get into the right a little bit on the tighter side of things and when the joints get tight the muscles will also not work as well or you don't have as far of a range and we don't work the muscles to the end of its range and it doesn't actually get the full activation never gets lengthened if it doesn't get lengthened you can't generate the torque and the strength obviously like we don't want to do it every day these guys have lots of schedules going on we don't want them to hammer their schedule too much but at the same time we want to be a part regular part of it if we can regularly access their body to make sure that's nice and free then you're actually going to get a much better performance each time. So they're going to be training regardless anyway. They're going to put in hours and minutes, but if they've got the best body they can, they're much more likely to get the best output they can as well. So the same way someone has to go to school regularly to kind of update themselves and make sure that their body is up to, or their knowledge is up to scratch, these athletes have to do the same thing. So yeah, I've known Gabe since, what, 2016? A few years now, he's been working on my body, keeping me, um, I guess, injury free or and fight ready so now it's been um it's been awesome kind of having a, a physio as a friend as well so you can message him on the weekend and say hey i need your asap i've just injured this and he'll respond and set up a time straight away so um yeah pretty thankful to have have him on on the team but yeah we've we haven't had too many injuries in my uh in my past knock on wood <coughs> um, yeah, no, it's been good. Just having a prevention as well as um, if something does flare up or if I'm overworked and I do get injured, um, he's got a solution straight away and we get on on the mend and um, fix the problem, yeah, pretty much on the day, the day of injury, so. Do you think it's more important to have started six years ago or start only when you're on your championship journey? No, you got to train. Train like the champ before you become the champ. So it's not just a mindset. It's it's an everyday thing. High standards, and uh, just ticking off all those boxes. So physio is just one of those boxes that you gotta make sure you have right. Because uh, yeah, without your body, you can't perform. And without, if you can't perform, you're not gonna win a world title. Sweet. Thank you.